Good evening, or it's more of an afternoon, but uh, but I got dressed up for LARP today. I didn't feel like going, though. I've had one hell of a week. Even the, you know, even God needed a day off. So I figured I might as well still get something out of this, record a video, catalog the things I've collected and made. And, uh... This is particularly for the night, for LARP and everything. It's not, I guess, strictly a cosplay in the typical sense. But, uh, yeah. Suffice to say, I'm going to record all this, and then I am going to go sleep. Because I am tired. It do be like that sometimes. Without further ado, though, uh, let's start here with what I've got on. I've got chainmail. Some people have asked me, is this aluminum? No, it is not. It is, if the store page is to be believed, it is steel that has been zinc coated. So, still steel. Um, underneath, I've got the gambeson. Padded protection. And then I've got my coif which is really just a, uh, the hood from a winter jacket that I removed the zipper. It works. And if we were to swap camera, I've got my old Attack on Titan boots with some very rudimentary leather, what are these? Shin guards, right? That I made. I just slap two pieces of leather together, cooked them in the oven to shape them for some very basic leg protection. And this is all like armor rating 1, 2, and 3, so it, it builds up in those areas. But now to some accessories that are needed. I got a belt, again, just slapped a bunch of leather strips together from scrap. This is a little pouch here. I believe I bought this. These mosquitoes are going to be the death of me. I purchased this at a reenactment a couple years ago. I have it full of bottle caps for a more fallout type of cosplay, but it still works. We have a little scroll carrier here. A messenger tote. It can fit into either time period. It does have more of a steampunk feel, but I still use it uh, well wearing this because it allows me to carry my keys and other items. And it's very solid, keeps them nice and protected. I have some, I believe these are either field hockey or lacrosse gloves. I can't tell. But I purchased these and painted them up to kind of look like they're made out of plate metal. Give them a more leathery look because they were originally like a blue and silver. So I got those. This one I made recently. This was, this is basically our stand-in for a water skin. But it's a collapsible water bottle I got from a camping store. And I just wrapped it in some leather. And yes, I did do a quick test about putting water in here and you know, it expanding. The leather does hold, so it is functional. Let's see, what else? And then, of course, I have my trusty old Great Helm. Though I did take my angle grinder, I cut out a slot, because I could not breathe worth a damn. And also, when talking to people, they couldn't really hear me. I also drilled some small holes along the top to help with a little bit of ventilation, so modified the helmet. I softened up the edges so that you know I'm not cutting myself right now. Let's see, and then let's continue along the table. In the LARP, at least for where I am, the group I'm with, yellow is like a crushing damage, and maybe this is the same for a lot of people. Uh, let me know. Because I know there are different rule sets out there. But hammers and clubs, they do a lot of crushing damage, which is yellow. 
This is really just a big foam block that I then put some EVA foam around so that it has a bit more structure. And I noticed the big styrofoam, you know, it's kind of brittle compared to other ones. So it also provides a bit of cushioning. From there, I have a fiberglass rod that's actually been inserted in there. Let's kind of turn the camera this way. So I inserted a fiberglass rod there, and then I really just wrapped it up with a bunch of fabric and some twine. On the inside, you might be able to barely see it. I also have some small sticks that I pitched around, stabbing into the block and into here, because I put some of that EVA foam clay around there. So that gives it some structural support at different angles. Uh, let's see. And then to get this all sealed, I used a lot of that iron-on tape that kind of melts when you heat it. Put the same yellow marking down here to help denote the type of damage. And that is basically it. The one-handed weapons have to be at least about three foot. And I keep the handle down here where the twine is thicker to kind of help denote because I believe they said it can only be one-third of the length. And that is the hammer. Now moving on to the primary ranged weapon here, we got ourselves a nice great big seven-foot spear. We'll go up here. Red is like a stabbing damage. This will go through many types of armor, if not all of them. And what I did is I took a, a Nerf ball and I kind of shaved down the circumference a bit so it fits to the spear better and covered it with the red. So it's a nice foam, well padded and safe tip. For this section here, this courtesy padding, I used a pool noodle, very simple, and just put that down the center wrapped it in the fabric, wrapped it in the twine at different intervals. Of course, the core here is the rest of that fiberglass rod, because that was originally 10 foot. So I used the three foot there, and I used the, ten, uh, the seven foot here. I then had some of this, uh, this wire edged ribbon, because it helps keep its shape. That's the initial um, wrapping. Underneath, you might be able to tell, is a bit of white I had some three millimeter EVA foam, so that gives the initial padding to the rod. I then put the ribbon, and then I would use twine at different segments to hold it together. Down here I use more of the black cloth, and this also now denotes the main handle area. Ah, my trusty warhound. Hello, bandit. How are you? And then, again, doing the same thing with this side to denote the red damage up there. Just <coughs> think, oh, you okay, buddy? That's why you don't eat the bugs. And then I tied that off down there. And then I actually just used a stress ball to again, safely pad that tip. Because sometimes people will grapple up here and they can jab it backwards and you don't want to, you know, end up stabbing yourself too bad. And then finally, this great Dirty great big shield. Um, it's about, let's see, I would say four feet tall, about two feet wide or so. It is very much a tower shield. And what I used to make this was I grabbed some DIY home insulation, so some foam that you can do on your own. And I just layered them together. So there's going to be three layers of that board. I wrapped some very soft foam around the edge, so I wrapped that. There's also a layer of some steel plate, some very thin sheet metal in there to give it some rigidity. Um, because there's not necessarily need to be a core apparently in the new rules that we have, but I still wanted to give it some structural, uh, some strength. At the same time, those sheet metal plates are still flexible, so it gives it a bit of bend. Um, let's see, afterwards, I put a plywood, sort of a 
plywood reinforcement on the back here because that's where my handle is just using an old drawer handle some old belts I would also bolt everything together as you see there there are several bolts throughout here and washers I covered the ends of those up with some hot glue to pad them mosquitoes again but um that basically is the shield to cover it I use an old bed sheet that I no longer need and uh, that's basically it I'm not done painting this I'm gonna need to add a bit more of a brown tone to it as brown is apparently what it needs to be if you're a nomad um, though I do intend on joining a country soon at that point I think I might need like a purple or a maroon color for them but yeah very basic construction but it does hold up quite well and the and the weight most importantly is what we're looking for because again all these are foam weapons so we're not expecting too much force behind it right my only concern with this is if someone would to shield rush me or maybe try to sparta kick me right with the sh then i might have some concerns but um beyond that not too much not too much concern um, against a spear like that or any other weapon I'm not too worried of this holding up should be fine and uh, I'm gonna then at the very end here put a few uh, pictures of me fully suited up in all this All right, and so that was, I guess that is the conclusion to this little video. So we're gonna basically just do a quick walkthrough again. And for those of you that stopped by, I do thank you for joining me. Hope all y'all's weeks are going well. I know many people have started school and whatnot. Good luck to you, people starting your senior year. I know what that's like. <laughs> Uh, to people starting college also good luck on that arduous journey but uh, yeah I hope y'all are doing all right and I hope to see you in the next one peace